Good afternoon, Fancy Farm. Thank you, Mark and Lori Wilson, Father Venters, and the Fancy Farm community for putting on the 139th Super Bowl of Kentucky politics, the Fancy Farm Picnic. It's one of the oldest and most anticipated traditions of the year. I am honored to be part of it today. It's a great time to live in the Commonwealth because over the past several years, conservatives have changed Kentucky for the better with record job growth, lowest unemployment rates in decades, and skyrocketing economic investment. And for those of you watching at home, during my administration at the Kentucky Department of Agriculture, we have put Kentucky first. We have put Kentucky first with the best marketing program in our state's history. Kentucky Proud, supporting countless fall family farms. We have put Kentucky first by systematically supporting farmers at farmers markets in 160 locations across our state. And we have put Kentucky first by protecting you at the gas pump from thieves, preventing credit card theft, and putting criminals in jail. We put Kentucky first by selling over 400,000 pounds of 100% Kentucky Proud beef into our grocery stores and protecting you from fake meat. We put Kentucky first by making new investments in the future, by raising millions of dollars for Kentucky 4-H, Kentucky FFA, and developing a pipeline of future leaders. And finally, we put Kentucky first by reducing hunger in Kentucky and raising awareness about food insecurity affecting vulnerable children and the elderly with the Kentucky Hunger Initiative. And of course, here in Kentucky, we are making hemp great again because Kentucky, Kentucky chose to lead. We now have a thousand farmers growing a crop that connects our past with our future. 200 hemp companies making products that people want to buy legally and 500 new full-time jobs that exist today that didn't exist just a few years ago. And today, let me make a bold prediction. I predict that the amount of Kentucky grown, Kentucky processed, Kentucky proud hemp sales in America this year from Kentucky will exceed $100 million. <laughs> hemp. Hemp gives Kentucky the chance to be first in something instead of last. And right here in West Kentucky and Graves County, millions of dollars have been invested in hemp jobs. We did all of this and more while implementing six budget cuts in three years, returning money to the Treasury and shrinking the size of government. Because contrary to what the socialists will tell you, the money in Frankfurt is yours. It's not the government's. We put Kentucky first with new jobs, innovative solutions while cutting the budget. I'm proud of my record as Agriculture Commissioner. That's the Ryan Quarles record. I am focused on delivering for a record for you now, tomorrow, this November, and beyond. Kentucky farm families and experienced, conservative Kentucky leader at the helm of the Department of Agriculture. That's why this November, I humbly ask you for your vote so we can continue to put Kentucky first. <laughs>